Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. So, who's taking the 23 December fight date in Saudi? I'll tell you something. There's a whole lot of talk about Ngannou facing Chisor. Some people are speculating that Terrence Crawford could swoop in and take that 23 December fight date. Deontay Wilder, you're hearing all kind of names. But let, let's, let's be real here. Francis Ngannou fighting again this year. Uh, he could take that 23 December fight date. And it could be against Chisora. People keep wondering, man, Chisora lost 13, 14 fights. He was never a good heavyweight, right? Uh, he would always give it his all, but he was never he was never great. Uh, Chisora is a wealthy man. He's worth uh, over 15, 20 million dollars. Could be more, right? But how does he keep getting these opportunities what people are thinking? Well, we all know that there's obviously a relationship between Chisora and the Saudis, okay? So that's how he gets these opportunities. Now, I don't know if, in fact, Ngannou and Chisora, I don't know if that's going to happen, but you keep hearing Chisora, Ngannou, Chisora, Ngannou. I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. But I want to point something out to you. This 23 December fight date is an extremely important fight date. The fact that there was a contract in place for Yusik and Fury to fight on that date. And the fact that the Saudis are holding Fury's feet to the fire and saying, nah, you signed this agreement. You need to uphold your end of the of the bargain. And you need to get in here and do what you got to do. But on 23 December, we expect to have an undisputed distinction take place between you, Tyson Fury, and Alexander Yusik. So see, things have gotten real tricky right now. And, you know, I got to be fair. Uh, you know, look, in defense of Tyson Fury, now I know there's some people out here who watch this channel and say, damn, we're champions defending Tyson Fury. Well, you know, I'll always have the hairy eyeball on Tyson Fury. But at the same time, man, if a man gets into a boxing ring uh, and gets his face broken, right, like Tyson Fury got his damn face broken against Francis Ngannou, I mean, he got to get healed up. But at the same time, right, I can understand people saying, you know what, screw Tyson Fury. F Tyson Fury. Because he took Francis Ngannou lightly. And a couple of days before the fight, he was out here talking about um, Yusik getting sued. Because, you know, it was lost through translation what Yusik uh, said. Uh, what Yusik was just saying, you know, um, he was in training camp and uh, he was saying he'd be ready for the fight day, but somehow in translation it got lost where they, where Usyk, it was interpreted that Usyk was saying that he's hurt and he needs time to heal and he won't be ready for the 23 December fight day. Well, when they got a hold of Usyk, he said, that's not true, I'm ready. But some people don't feel sorry for Tyson Fury because it's like, wow, tables have turned. He went from saying Usyk would get sued you know, because uh, Tyson Fury is what I would call an Apollo greed. He's all about money. But then he goes in and fights Ngannou thinking it would just be a breeze, a Mayweather-McGregor type deal, and it was life and death. And now Tyson Fury's banged up. But but I wanted to explain something. A lot, a lot of people don't understand what, um, what Riyadh season is, right? They don't understand what's the big deal about this thing called Riyadh season. And why is it that the Saudis aren't okay with pushing the fight back a couple months? Well, let's understand what the hell Riyadh season is. So what is Riyadh season? Okay, that's a very nice picture. But Riyadh season, right, you can read along. A citywide celebration of the city in itself and the larger context. Saudi Arabia and its people. Part of Saudi season initiative since 2019. Look, it's taken on to boost economic tourist activity. Focused on non-religious tourism. Okay? The event's conducted during winter across a span of five months. Between October to March. Now, let me tell you something. This is where it gets a little tricky, right? They have events planned non-stop events planned from October through March. You better believe that what they have planned 
right before Christmas on the 23rd, 23rd of December was probably the biggest event of Riyadh season. And they're not going to be okay with trying to find a substitute for the undisputed heavyweight distinction between Fury and Yusuf. And let me tell you something. As much as I like Ngannou, much as I like Chisora, it's not the same thing as Fury versus Yusuf. Uh, Wilder and AJ, that's a good scrap. I think we may rather, I think a lot of us would rather see Wilder and AJ anyway. But with all the suspense surrounding Tyson Fury and Usyk and Tyson Fury looking average and like Deontay Wilder beat the punch resistance out of him, right? That Fury Usyk fight seems to be even more of a toss up, but more of a an, an unknown uh, going into it. Where Wilder and AJ, I think for the most part, it's a foregone conclusion that Wilder will tranquilize AJ. But back here on Riyadh season, the initiative falls in line. With Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's vision 2030 as Saudi Arabia moves towards a progressive future. This is where people talk about the sports washing, trying to use sports to advance Saudi Arabia and this whole initiative about a progressive future. International travelers can now easily visit Saudi as the kingdom has aimed to boost tourism. Again, when you hear me talk about the Saudis and putting up money for these matches. They don't care about pay-per-view. They, they pay their money, they get what they want, and their focus is on the results. The results of the boxing match <clears throat> and using that to ensure that Saudi Arabia is viewed as a destination and to boost tourism. Okay? Over 100 events, concerts, and adventures are brought all over Riyadh in celebration of the entire nation under a unifying theme. So now that you guys understand what Riyadh season is about, you guys can now have a better understanding of why the hell the Saudis, they're not trying to hear anything about Tyson Fury not making that 23 December fight date. Because they need events there that they paid for, that uh, the people who've gone who got into the agreement with them, right? All the parties involved. They need them to, to, to produce. Because I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be surprised if some if if Tyson Fury, no kidding, can't make that fight date because he's injured. I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if the Saudis come up with something, an even bigger, better plan. Because you have brilliant minds over there. But, but, but if Tyson Fury is, is really banged up, which I think he is, I think his face is broken personally. But the problem is, like I said in another video, Tyson Fury is out here saying has just some bruises. But let me tell you, it, it's just not that easy to, to get out of a contract uh, that you went and you, you, you firmed up, your team firmed up for you to make over $200 million, right? Over a course of several events, right? Over $200 million. And you just feel, you know what, I just want to walk away from this right now because, you know, I'm not feeling okay. That's not how that works. So those studies, if, if they're paying you and they're giving you money, well, they, for the most part, they own you. And Tyson Fury can, he can say what he wants. He can feel how he wants. But one thing he cannot do is not fulfill his end of the agreement, the contractual obligation is crystal clear. And I just don't think he wants to mess around with these people. Period. Period. Okay, because they, let me tell you something, they may not care about how much money they spend on an event. As long as everything that they ask for and they're paying for, they receive. But trust me, they ain't about giving out free money. They may give you a billion dollars, but if, as long as what they expect to get in return they receive, cool, take the billion. But they're not going to give you free money, okay? And for Tyson Fury, we're going to see what happens. But I'm telling y'all right now, do not be surprised if this fight between Tyson Fury and Yusick goes forward for the, 20, 20, for the 23rd of December. Because what it's all about, 
It ain't about how Tyson Fury feels. It's about Riyadh season, and it's about the Saudis getting the results that they need because at the end of the day, right here, second paragraph, last line, it's all about boosting tourism. Simple. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans. <laughs> Sucks for you, Tyson Fury. And I'm in the breeze.